Hello, race fans. Welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive-In 5 here on RaceFace.tv. And I, I almost feel like we're starting over. It's been so long since we've had Jacob Clayton do one of these, but that's because you've had a, a bit of a summer break here, just the way your schedule laid out, which we'll talk about in a minute. But you did do some racing since the last time we've talked. And I'll be honest, really, I feel like started to to really find your comfort level in these pro trucks. I, you know, your last race in April, you led a lot of laps, got a top five finish. I, just that experience of running up front. Um, I know from what you've said, from what your team owner, John Thompson said, all of a sudden it's like the switch flipped and now it's okay. I know what I need out of these pro trucks. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I think John and Grant have done a lot to teach me and um, evolve, like, getting better in the truck and everything. I think at the beginning of the season, I was still just figuring everything out, even though I'd done some test sessions. But I think I'm starting to figure everything out now, and I just need to get a better race craft in these trucks now. Well, take me back to that race on April 27th, because you led – close to 25 laps in that race, started up front, got to the lead early. What was that experience like just being able to not only be around the fast guys, but get clear of them and really learn what the truck feels like out in front? Yeah, so we we qualified second in that race and uh, Trace Caper set the pole of that race. There ended up being um, a dice roll, but Trace rolled the one so the lineup didn't change obviously not working in my favor. Um, but we started outside pole, led 26 laps, and ended up having a three-second lead. And lap traffic ended up getting in my way and um, lost, caused me to lose two seconds of that lead, letting Trace get up to my bumper. And he ended up getting me a little loose coming out of four. I almost hit the wall, but I managed to save it and uh, came out of that race finishing fourth after uh, a few more trucks ended up getting in my way. <laughs> Is that one of those where it stings a little bit, but at the same time, because you've only had these couple of races in the truck that you can kind of look at it and go, man, we re we really did some good things there. Yeah. I think, I think that race was overall pretty good because those last few laps of that race, when we were about 20 to go, when Tim told me it was 20 to go, I was like, man, I have this race won. And then I'm like, when I, that lap car got in my way, I was like, man, I don't have this race won. <laughs> so we go forward. You've got one race in between, which ended up, you, you got tangled up and had a crash there uh, in the middle of May. That was chaos, I know, because your primary truck has gone off to be repaired over the last couple of months. You were able to... Um, have a truck loaned to you, I know, from another driver to stay in the points race at Five Flag Speedway down in Pensacola, Florida, ended up running a backup truck that you had never even set into a top five. Yeah, um, big thanks to David Jones for letting me drive his 64 truck, but that was a big achievement. We ended up having to go down there early and everything to get me settled into that truck because, you know, the guy that races that truck is in like three times bigger than me, so... That was a lot of work to get that seat right and get the pedals and the steering column and everything right. But we ended up making it out to the racetrack and getting some practice in and everything. Um, the truck ended up being not to my favorites of like how the truck is, the other truck that I had been racing. It was a little bit tighter and the gearing wasn't right and everything. Um, but we ended up qualifying fifth and um, started the rear and made my way up about two positions and did a top five. I was originally second in points before this, but um, after that fifth place finish, uh, dropped me back to third, but I still should have the rookie of the year. Yep, you're leading rookie of the year points at Five Flags, and I know you're only two points out a second right now um, in the track standings there. Still got a couple weeks before you get back in the truck, but it is does that really give you a goal that you can shoot for over these last couple races here of the summer into the fall? And you know, do you feel like that second place in points, if you can get the get the primary truck back and it's running well, do you feel like that's achievable? I think second place is very achievable if I just race clean and do my do my job in the race truck. 
I think Tim and John and everybody else has their job done. I just need to do my job. I think first place is a little too far out of reach at this point after that fifth place finish. Um, but I think second place is very achievable. Well, you me you mentioned the point leader earlier. I know Trace Capers has, has given you some good battles uh, already this year. Have When you've been racing around him, have you been able to pick up some things and kind of learn from him as you've gotten comfortable? Definitely. Like, he... He is obviously a lot more savvy in racing the trucks than I am. He likes racing people a little bit closer, and he'll rub on you if he has to. But for the most part, I think Trace is a pretty clean racer, and that's something to pick up on. Okay, so you've got a couple weeks yet. I know uh, August 10th, I think you said, is your next race at Mobile. So you've had about you've had a month and a half right now where you haven't uh, been on the racetrack a whole lot. What has Jacob Clayton been doing off the racetrack or outside of the helmet? I, I, I'll say outside of the helmet because I know over Fourth of July weekend you were still at the racetrack just supporting some of your quarter midget buddies up there at the Battle of the Brickyard. Yeah, so we went to the Battle of the Brickyard at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. That's if anybody doesn't know, that's the biggest quarter midget race of the year. Um, I went up there to help Colton Kelly and GW Glass. They're both one of my close friends. GW Glass lives very close to us, and Colton was my teammate last year in the quarter midgets. Um, but Colton ended up doing okay. He qualified but two cars into the A main and finished eighth and ninth, but had some bad damage, and uh, GW ended up finishing fifth after having three cars there, but at least he qualified one in. That was his first race ever at the Brickyard. So I think he did pretty good for a top five finish. Nice. Did I did I hear uh, a, a rumbling right that you were kind of pulling on your dad's shirt sleeve of really wanting to, to pull one of your own cars out to go and race? It sounded like you had the itch. Yeah, I saw that mod racing. Beforehand, the mod racing wasn't as savvy, but... Um, I went out there and they were actually pretty good getting it out there. They were actually racing instead of just going around in circles, which I kind of liked. And, uh, I kind of want to get back out there, but I think at the same time, I think I need to focus on what I'm doing. Absolutely. I, the, the, the steps of progression for sure in that pro truck as you've gotten through the, uh, gotten through the first half of the year. A have you done anything outside the, outside the racetrack that's been fun over these last couple of months? Any, any vacations or any downtime, or have you guys just really been kind of getting the focus on getting the truck ready to come back? Um, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would necessarily call this fun, but it was definitely a learning process. I went out there, um, to a job site with one of my dad's friends and, okay kind of helped out and was just learning stuff. I went out there for about a week or two and I just went out there and learned and did some stuff and got my hands dirty instead of a race car. Nice. Nice. Well, it, I've it's been fun. Doing a lot of eye racing. Nah, I, I, fig I figured you were going to say that. And it's funny that you mentioned getting your hands dirty because I know here in about a week or so, you're going to have the chance to, uh, to come up my direction and actually get fitted in a, uh, fitted in a dirt micro at Sheldon Creed shop. Yeah, I think that'll definitely be something fun because not only is that just, um, fun to go do but that's also a really good learning process and I think Sheldon's a great guy to go meet and that'll be pretty fun to do I've been doing a lot of practice on Millbridge and I racing so I think I'm ready to go do that and see what it's all about just make sure when he fits you in the car tell him that you want the secrets of how to win and not finish second <laughs> I, i'll hear about I'll, I'll hear about that later <laughs> as soon as he sees this video i'm sure but uh um real quickly jacob too i know uh we'll, we'll get to your whole list of sponsors in a minute but i know the other big part for you over the last couple months is that you guys were able to uh, bring on a new primary sponsor in four star freightliner yeah we um brought on four star freightliner as our new primary sponsor on the truck now um, they, they are a primary dealer for Freightliner, Western Star, and Tyco. Um, they're a great company, and I really love talking to the guy that owns the company. He's a really nice guy, and I'm glad to have them on board with us now. It's, it's a lot of fun, and I know that really has, uh, has kept your season going this year, Jacob. Uh, who are the other partners and sponsors that you want to say thank you to before we wrap up? Yeah, I want to thank Four Star Freightliner, Tyco, Jack Arthur Reynolds, Midwest Suspension, 
the Little Speed Shop, American National Insurance, Swiss Springs, Friends of Jacqueline, Elite Performance Industries, and Modern Images. Hey, I, I, I know you haven't been uh, been in the race car a whole lot this last month or so, but that's about as smooth as the last time I heard you at the racetrack. So uh, I, I would say that skill set is sharp, Jacob, and we'll look forward to uh, talking to you here in a couple weeks after we get you back on the track at Mobile. Okay, thank you. That's Jacob Clayton. My name's Jacob Seelman, and this has been another Race Face Drive in 5. We'll see you next time here on RaceFace.tv, where you can go for all the latest in the news and world of motorsports. Thank <laughs> you.